Welcome back to another episode of Rest Up Garage. This isn't exactly the episode I was expecting to make you this weekend. Basically tell by what's here. This weren't the plan. I was actually considering bringing the smart car back. So I've been getting a lot of questions about the smart car. So I'm like, you know, I'm probably gonna dig that thing out and take a look at it. Nope, nope. So anyways, we took the 55 out yesterday. Let's bring her back to some story time. And uh, let's, I lost my train of thought. I can start from there though. Okay, let's, um, let's begin with a little story time. We decided that we were going to take the 55 out for its first show. You know, we've been running around town. We've probably put about 100 or so miles on her, just running around, no problems, doing good, right? So we haul it all the way to Hoover. You know, hauling it means I drive it. You know, we drove it all the way there. 70, 75, this thing performed flawlessly. I mean, impressive down the road at 70. We go there and I hang out and meet some really cool people. And, uh,. Everything was great. Nice sunny day. Wasn't it, Zach? Yeah. It was a nice sunny day. We're thinking to ourselves, what are we going to do this weekend? Because we pretty much was thinking to ourselves that we needed to come up with a project. So we're like, we're not sure what we're going to do. Well, 55 decided to say, hold my beer and watch this. So we leave. We're not even a quarter of a mile from the place. We're coming down over the hill, right? Out of nowhere. Clunk. That was it. Clunk. And at that point, this 4L60E basically gave me six gears of neutral. All of them. It was all neutral. Neutral, neutral, neutral. The thingy on the dash said neutral. Okay? It knew what it was doing. Put me in neutral. So we coasted her through a busy intersection, and actually we coasted it to an on-ramp that we were getting ready to get on to come home. So that leads us to now. We already put our peepers up in there, and the torque converter is still hooked to the flywheel. We don't have any line pressure, though. So our next question is, is the torque converter still hooked to the transmission pump? We don't know. But we're about to find out because now we got to freaking pull the transmission out of this thing. Again, I'm sorry if I don't seem super excited this morning. It's because I really just didn't want to pull the transmission out of this car. God. But, you know, it's to be expected on these jobs. I'll get my energy up, don't you worry. I'm on my wherever I put my coffee. Like my fourth cup of coffee this morning. And uh, I'm going to perk up and pull a transmission and see if we can obviously just look at it. But I mean, there's so much magical, digital sorcery going on in these things that I don't know. I'm hoping it's just like with an arrow, like broke here. That would be nice. I'm sure it won't be. But, I guess. Without further ado, I need you guys to, you know, like and subscribe to this video because, you know, we're trying to build our clientele up of people watching this crap. And that would be exceptionally awesome for me today if you went ahead and did that. But here's some more 55 content for you. Sorry. <laughs> It's just one of them mornings, guys, but you know, I'm real with you, and we're going to really take out this transmission this morning. <sighs> Teach me to buy a transmission jack. That's all I got to say about that. I guess that, you want to just, you know, 
let's just run around underneath for a minute. Let's just show the people what we got to do to pull it. And then we're going to put them on that tripod there and see if we can have this thing pulled out in about 30 seconds. Only I want that fast. No? Well, it does with your movie magic. Yes, it does. Okay. So I don't know which way is easier. Probably right from there. But anyways, so we have the exhaust that needs to come out. So you gotta take out those bolts up there. We did make a clamp here, so that makes it nice. We'll end up pulling the exhaust from here too. Not that this one really needs to go, I don't think. But I'm probably gonna pull it just so the motor can lay back a little easier, okay? But these all unband clamp here, you know, thanks to the good old motion. Band clamps, you know, from motion. I'm glad you found it on the web. You find out what's wrong with my transmission? No, I didn't think so. Sorry, it's my, my watch finding stuff on the web not to help us <sighs> okay then we're gonna pull out this cross member here that we just had out to modify so that'll be easy take off the shifting you know the shifting thing and then we're gonna unhook a few wires back here we're gonna pull the old spinny shaft out of here and then that's good at least I can fix that drip from the freaking seal that's been leaking since I put this transmission in and um, I'm probably going to drain the oil out of it real quickly, just in a big old pan and drain it. Because at this point, it's got to get flipped up and looked at. And then I think it should drop down enough. And, um, oh yeah, starter. Starter's going to come out. Sorry. Um, little. I'm, I told you. Drinking coffee. I'm getting there. I'm getting there, people. Take the bottom cover off. Take the converter bolts out. And then take a few bolts out. And she should just come. Just like that. Seems simple, didn't it? So I thought too. Oh, being that we're premier transmission technicians, do this all the time, shouldn't be no problem for for us. You know what they say, no step for a stepper. Or maybe that's just what I say. Probably just what I say. Like but um, anyways, is that it's time to put them on the stand? Because we gotta blow this exhaust off from here and blow this transmission out. And look for the big red arrow saying broke here. And if not, it's probably going to go to Haley Transmission. Because <sighs> they're probably a little better at detecting that red arrow saying this is broke. Not what I want to do. I'd send it back to where it was built. I mean, it should have some sort of warranty on it. But I just don't think I got that much time on my hands. Okay, because I have a feeling if I send it up there, it's going to be months. And I'm just not into months right now. I just, I want the transmission fixed. So I can put it back in. And then we can go try this again because obviously we got to get these bugs worked out before we take her on the old hot rod power tour for y'all all y'all every one of y'all like 462 of you that are subscribed currently 64 this morning 64 Woo -hoo, told you we're getting there we're getting there people remember thousand this year that was our goal thousand so we just keep doing one at a time just keep sharing this crap and we'll keep breaking this crap That's it, Zach. It's time to get to work. I'm pumped. Not really. But I'm going to pretend I'm pumped.
gonna bring them down at an angle. That's gonna be easier. Just getting them up here. Yeah. Okay, should be about four more. Pretty close. Except it's not around the turn span at all. This isn't around up this part. It's not around this part. Oh, that's probably not. Yeah. Well, we can go under it. Too. Well, it needs to go the other okay. way. Huh? It really needs to go the other way. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, that's how it's supposed to be. Huh? No, just like this. This is right, because these go around the transmission. These actually are what go underneath the transmission generally. These right here, they go up underneath the transmission. That's what normally happens. So they kind of go up. Let's see how that one. No, I'm going up. Yeah, so it's generally something like this right here. Okay. So you probably need to come forward, way forward on this one. Right there. Um, take some angle out of it so I can go up. Okay, hold on. What does that do? Left or right, I guess. I don't know. So it probably should be. Safety. Safety third. Can I up on this thing, maybe? Oh. I'm more of a safety third guy. So you're gonna pop off like that. <laughs> Wing one. The whole thing's kinda stupid. Yeah, probably yeah. nobody uses them. <laughs> Alright. I feel like a racket strap would do better. Yeah, I think it probably would. I mean, this one doesn't work. This one. Yeah, should work great. You know, basically. Yeah. We're working great right here. Basically great. Basically, whatever happened in there sounded destructive. You give it a pump, a little pressure. There we go, the plumbing. And then I just need to get up in there and take out the last few bolts, which I should be able to get to pretty easily. Maybe, probably not. Maybe you set it down and get the upper two bolts, and then lift it up and get the bottom two bolts. We well, really didn't pick her up much. I know I did. I put like three pumps on. So I'd love to try to get the thing tension out, but it's not, so, you know. Uh. I remember I put these in. So I'm pretty sure they did. But if I remember right, putting these in was a whole lot better than the out or the hex. The other ones. Yeah, than the hex bolts. Out. Seven. The socket cap ones are so much better. Now, that plug is to be expected to maybe have a little bit of juice in it. This one up here, it happens. The speed though, that's kind of odd. I, I don't think that's supposed to have fluid in it.
too spray now. We're gonna. Scary story time. Scary story time. The elusive 4L60E. With all of its gears of neutral. So, I mean, that literally, what, 30 minutes maybe? If that. To have this transmission out of this car, unbelievably fast. Nice. We did a great job when we did all the mock up to get all this out. Um, but there's the aluminum um, flywheel. Everything was tight. I mean, you can see, she's just tight. She's tight everywhere. Um, but yeah, came right out, no problems. Hey, look, Zach, I can paint the back side of this now for the old shifter. You guys want to know kind of conglomeration I made for the shifter fork? That uh, right there, that's her. Yeah, because I have never seen it. Yeah. They just saw it bolted. Just a little rusty. We don't worry about that though. So that's a combination of a yeah. Turbo 350 used shifter <laughs> and a piece of flat steel uh, and joint and, and rethreading. Joint. Yeah. It's, yeah. So it's basically everything you could possibly think of. And more, and I think we're pinching these wires back here. And we are. Yeah, so we probably need to, you know, get the jack underneath here for too long. Okay, jack it up on it. Yeah. Yeah, because then we're definitely being pinched. Yeah, it's okay. We don't care about those wires. They're optional. It's true. They just probably run everything. Yeah. I guess we'll just put a little pressure on it. Yeah, just to get it up off the firewall there. I'll hold it back here. Yeah, maybe we'll reroute them a little bit. So. See you yeah. from Okay, that's fine. Yeah, maybe we'll be working on that. Oh. Yeah, that took pressure off her anyway. Yeah. Just push some wires back up there. They're good. You can barely tell. We're gonna pretend they are and I'll short it out together, right? Yeah, we're just gonna pretend. Everything else looks great on here though. I mean, this was a good test, basically. But let's um let's go let's go check out the old meat and taters and uh pull the torque converter out and see if we can find that big red arrow. Now you can't see me. Oh, I can't see your face. So. You don't need to see my face. Okay, so here is the 4L60E. And here is the adapter bell housing to make all this work. And here is the torque converter that we think ain't connected to anything on this side. She's pretty, she's pretty much in there. Well, it's definitely inserted all the way. I guess try to pull that input shaft out and see if that's connected. Seems to be. Huh. I mean, the pump gear looks like it's there. I mean, we definitely heard something inside, though. Because it was, t it won't spin the correct direction any longer. I grab a rag and see if I can turn it. I mean, she's bound. Mm -hmm. As I said, it won't turn any longer. It was gonna spin. It shouldn't matter though. Right? No, the input shaft's always gonna spin. That's true. The engine doesn't stop spinning when it's in park, right? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, this one spins. Barely. This one don't spin. It looks like, I see pump. You see ears? Teeth. Ears. You see them? Right there, the ears. Oh yeah, they're there. Yeah. And they're there. Yeah, we had good pump engagement. Unless the pump came apart inside. I don't think we were too tight. No, because it got pulled out. <sighs> well, to be continued, guys. To be continued. I think what we're going to do at this point is uh, I'm going to load it on the back of my truck and I'm going to take it to the transmission shop and just let them look at it at this point because, you know, it kind of scares me and I don't want to uh, 
this is one part that I'd rather just work. You know, um, I mean, I could blow it apart. I wouldn't know what I was looking at in this magical thing. I mean, I'm sure I could figure it out. I'm pretty, pretty smart, but um, with the plans for this car, I don't, this is something that I don't want. So I'd rather just at this point um, bite the bullet and bring it to a transmission job. Have them just look at it. Well, there you go. We'll uh, be continuing this. When we uh, find out what was wrong, we'll be sure to let you guys know what we found. And then we're going to put it back in and we'll uh, see how the next trip goes. So. See you in a couple days. <laughs> see you in a few days. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, here is a um, little different ending than what I originally planned on giving you for this uh, video. Um, we're sitting here editing it off and... and um, things kind of change a little so we're not sure how long it's going to take to get it back it may be a couple weeks and we just don't want to hold the video for that we can just do a separate video of get it back and tell you what was wrong with it get it in and make sure she works good so um but here's a scoop we did find it is definitely we definitely broke the pump um after moving it around a bit we look and there's pieces in there we did contact the original um, place that I bought it from out of Ohio. Um, they, they're the ones who machine the case and everything for the car. They just have the transmissions built. Um, now that person said that if I wanted to ship it up there, they would take care of it or whatever. Uh, but I opted for a different, um, a different uh, route. So another thing too is these transmission shops around here. Okay, I'm just going to lay it out there they are all about their R&R &R. they they want they want to remove it and and replace it back in themselves they don't want to drop out transmission I, I tried a few of them around here I tried calling it just it didn't work so I called another friend of mine who is in really good with um, PTC which I'm sure you guys have heard of them uh, they're out of God. Muscle Shoals, yeah, thanks, Zach. Muscle Shoals, Alabama, they're up north. They build converters for race cars and all kinds of crap. I'm, again, I'm sure you've heard of them. But anyways, they said that they would take my transmission, and they will do it. They can have the, you know, even though it's kind of modified and stuff, they can totally handle that. They're good with that. So I, I know where it's going now, and I know it'll be right when it comes back from them because there's a chance the converter's going to have to be redone or replaced. Um... We can tell you that the stator shaft um, definitely had some damage to it, for sure, as well. So there, there's a bunch of stuff. Um, I mean, it did happen quickly. We don't know why it happened, failure of a part or whatever. Don't really know that answer. But uh, once we get it back and we know what was broke, we'll kind of go over that with you guys. So I shouldn't want to leave you hanging with, here it is. But I'm going to kind of leave you hanging with, here it is. Uh, as soon as we get it back, I mean, this thing's like a soon as we can get it back it's going back in the car obviously so we can drive it this is we're planning on taking this on hot rod power tour so we were trying we're trying to get the mileage on this car to make sure this don't happen and it's kind of good this did happen here because i'd have hated to have left here and gotten to you know the georgia line broke the transmission on my way to power tour and then not be able to do it the whole week so i mean it has this you know it sucks but again, that's just part of this. You know, you're kind of building stuff that's not normal, off the shelf stuff. It, it happens. You know, it's just it's just how it goes. You know, if if a part turns or a part moves, a part's gonna break. That's just how it goes. I mean, it's just how it goes. So, but anyways, that's where we're at with that. Uh, I hope to know something maybe in a week. I, I don't know how busy they are. So, but. As soon as we know something, we get it back. You guys will be like the third or fourth to know behind us. So, I think that's reasonable. But, on to other stuff. Thank you all for watching this video. And we'll be getting back with you soon. Peace out, guys. And girls.